Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to review a filament from Colorfab. This filament is called Colorfab XT and I have a roll of this filament in pink and also in orange and I printed out several things with a pink filament. Full disclaimer for this review, I bought this filament with my own money. Colorfab did not contact me in any way or form for this review. I gave them a shout out on Twitter before I posted this video. This review was upcoming and they haven't had any influence on my thoughts on the filament. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is not your normal PLA filament, it's a, what they call an engineering grade filament and it is made with Amphora 3D polymers, that's a chemical compound that I'm not familiar with, I'm not a chemist, but they say this filament has great mechanical properties and high accuracy in print and I decided to buy a roll of this filament to give it a test. It comes in a uh, color up normal clear spool. The only thing I can say about this spool, it doesn't have a label with a type of filament. Other than that, it's pretty standard clear spool and uh, the spool is dirty and, and good. And the filament is, is nice on it, but it would have been nice to have a sticker on the spool if you lose the case. So that's the only thing I found in regard to the spool itself. But as you can see in front of me, I have several prints. So this filament is recommended to print at 240 to 260 degrees C and in the Slicer Prusa edition there was a profile for this filament that started out at 260 but stuck at 270 for the remaining layers and I decided to go with a Prusa profile on the Slicer and test that out. One of the first prints I did was this stringing test and I've broken off most of the parts of this print. What I was testing for is if it was stringy or not and it was not stringy in any way and I was quite happy with this temperature and 270 and the strength of the spikes is, is really good. It's quite difficult to, to break them off. So layer adhesion is excellent and as you can see the, the bottom part just flexed. It didn't want to break so it's an excellent strength and I printed out a, another one without breaking it and uh, you can see there's no stringing on it. There's a slight amount of flops on the upper parts of the prints but absolutely no stringing. Those artifacts that came out here, I don't know what actually causes them. Maybe I'm printing a little bit too hot. Uh, other than that, those defects, it came out pretty great in this test. I then printed out this test I do normally for filament testing. And here bridging was excellent and the look and feel of the print is pretty good. Uh, the overhang test came out also pretty good and no special issues. There's a tiny amount of stringing in this part but other than that it's not an issue and it's it's crazy strong uh, layer adhesion and I really have to make an effort to to break this filament or break those prints and, and I, I can't separate those layers just broke the print at the big spots so it's a very high layer addition at this printing temperature of 270 degrees and I guess you, you need a all my patent to print at those temperatures and maybe that's a requirement for good results with this filament to have a all metal patent also the bed temperature is is 90 degrees when I was printing it stuck very well to the PI sheet on my Prusa and gave excellent results on print quality on the bottom side it's like mirror finish so that came out excellent I also decided to do this overhang test and first I did this one on my Prusa MK2 printer and here you can see there are slight issues uh, when I got to 60 degrees overhangs and there it starts to have a problem and a little bit worse on the 70 on the MK3 printer it came out without issues at 60 degrees and all the small defects on, on 70 degrees so the cooling on the MK3 printer is doing its job with a new furnace route that is semi-circular and that is giving better results than the MK2 fans route so this is maybe the, one of the concerns I have as I'm printing that hot and this filament is, is flowing uh, really smoothly it needs good part cooling fun so that's maybe a requirement to get good overhang results also uh, with bridging on the MK2 printer there was slight issues here in the longest bridge the three shorter ones did very good and then in the longer ones it had small issues here but on the MK3 printer it was quite good, only a small issue at the longest one and 
some small issue here with one strand filament getting loose on the MK3. The part cooling is, is better. So that's uh, something you have to have in mind that as this filament prints very hot, you have to have a good part cooling fan to get good printing. But if you have a MK3 printer, it comes out very good. And then printed out this arm and, and pieces for a Raspberry Cam arm to mount on the x-axis on the Prusa and I already printed out arm like this and have it installed on the MK2 printer and needed another one for my MK3 printer. Also printed out my GoPro camera arm that I've designed. This came out pretty good but here the overhangs are a little bit rough on the MK2 printer. This was printed on the MK2 so you have to have a good cooling. That's the only, only issue I could find. The Benzi came out excellent and it's very smooth and, and shiny and there is absolutely no issues on this bench seat. As you can see it's very shiny and, and very smooth print and it's extremely strong uh, layer adhesion. I then printed out this case for my GoPro camera that mounts on the arm. It goes like this and this is just a very lightweight casing for the GoPro that screws in here and this came out great and uh, it prints on the bed like this and as you can see there's no drooping or any issues like this printing here came out excellent and no no issues so this uh, was giving me extremely good results i finally ended up printing more uh, a few organic models <laughs> uh, all, all other parts were like mechanical parts uh, what this filament is maybe intended for but my maker coin came out really great. More letters on the top came out great, and uh, there was no issues in any shape or form on this maker coin. And it's very tough, and layer adhesion is is so good I can't even break off the the foot. Oh, now good with great force, <laughs> as you might have heard. It is super uh, good layer adhesion this filament but this came out excellent no issues here I then printed out the omnom by sparky face 5 or tessa and this is an excellent model one of my favorite organic models to test out a print you can print this out without any infill and this is just shiny and without any issues maybe at the top there's a there's a slight uh, miss up here in the topmost part but uh, I'm not sure if this is the cause of the filament or something else but other than that it came out excellent and, and no issues any place in the model. I also printed out this model. This is an Otis model uh, that Garrett at Chaos Cortec modeled. Uh, this is absolutely awesome model. This model also printed out without any info and is absolutely perfect. There's no issues anywhere in this model uh, or this print. So this uh, came out excellent and the li layer lines are very very smooth on this filament and it's all printed in 0.2 millimeter layer height and, and doesn't by any means look like a 0.2 millimeter layer height. I tried to cut into some of the prints and uh, they're completely fused together the layers so it's excellent print quality uh, on those organic models as well as the mechanical prints. Yeah, so as you could see on the models I printed, print quality is excellent on all parts I printed, both mechanical parts and organic parts. Layer adhesion and grain clicon, I was trying to break this. It's extremely strong and it's, uh, it's a thin model, but I'm unable to break it with my hands and had a very difficult time releasing the base from my maker coin. Uh, so layer adhesion is, is excellent and even printing at 270 degrees bridging and overhang performance is excellent if you have a good part cooling fan. I saw a difference on the MK2 and the MK3 printer in that regard. So for mechanical parts like this GoPro mount on my MK3 printer it's excellent filament to print out things like this and because of the mechanical properties of this filament you can use it in variety of situations and it's a little bit more expensive than your normal PLA maybe but you may not do models like organic models uh, with this filament normally but I wanted to do it, test it out anyway and show you how it how it looks. My recommendation for this filament is give it a go but please note that you need to print it rather hot so you might need a all metal hot end and you need a heated bed also for the PII seat it was very good bed adhesion and I had to be careful losing it off the bed with a built spatula, this one, uh, to just go underneath and, and, and pull it off and 
I was seeing on the MK2 when I was pulling on the print, the PI sheet was getting lifted. So you have to be careful removing this from a PI sheet, but it didn't fuse to the PI sheet, so it was not an issue. I, I didn't try to use glue stick or matigu or any other materials as it was working quite well. I had to be careful removing the parts. So my experience with this filament overall was just excellent. I want to print all the things with <laughs> it basically. And I'm gonna resolve this and also the orange filament roll I bought for mechanical things like those arms and, and mounts like this and GoPro mounts and things that uh, need extra strength and good layer adhesion. This was my review of the Colofab XT filament. I'm very happy with this filament and if you have a, a printer with a heated bed and uh, all metal hot end that can reach high temperatures I would give this filament a go for mechanical use cases and I was trying to think of a negative point to think of and uh, maybe the only small thing was there's no label on the spool but that's a minor minor thing so it's not like gonna drag this review to the ground <laughs> having not a sticker but maybe they should uh, have a sticker uh, what would be also great if they would add up the master spool project that is started by Richard and there are hopefully more manufacturers getting in the bandwagon with the master spool project color up you should check that out it's a very cool cool thing to reduce the waste of the spools for now i thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one